storm of the castle. doing way back there there you go big thank you to everybody who commented last week on the video for my wife wishing her the best when well the whole she tried to be a peacock down the stair thing i'm a peacock you gotta let me fly and it didn't go well but big thank you to you guys who commented nice words on her rec on her uh recovery she is in the doctor's office right now having her face looked at. And two, I had a subscriber comment that says, make sure you don't get pulled over all that stuff hanging on your windshield. And I thought to myself, I do got stuff on my windshield that I really don't use. I never use that clip from my GoPro. That's weird. I always use my dash. But I agree with my subscriber. I have too much stuff on my mirror. And I think it's time I clean house. Because y'all know, well... I'm a hoarder. It's just the way it is. There we go. It's a lot better. I've had this forever. Yeah, I keep the aspen tree up there. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is an aspen. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. Every tree to me is an aspen. It's the rule of thumb. Woo. Let's do something fun this week. I gotta take this off. It's getting hot, man. This is a dangly. Something that comes once in a lifetime. Well, I should say seasonal. No, and it ain't bowling. Siri, get me driving directions to 35728 Lake Road, Union City, PA. Getting driving directions to 35728 Lake Road, Union City. Oh, Siri, you're so good to me. There it is. Okay. Starting route to 35728 Lake Road. Let's go. Proceed to Hightown Road, then oh. turn right. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Now there is yard art you drive by every day. Things here, things there, just little mementos. But there is one monumental yard art house here in Union City that you're not gonna walk, you're not gonna drive by because it is dedicated to the great, one of the greatest bands ever. And I'm talking about Pink Freaking Floyd. They have covered, this is amazing. This is amazing. They have took every Pink Floyd album cover 
and they have put it on the side of their house. I have never seen in my life yard art. That was so cool. This right here is a cover of the album of the Division Bell with the two statues right here. And then, then you got the Adam Hart Mother album. Then, if you go up, they got the hammers from the wall. And then the Animals album cover with the pig floating above the um, industrial uh, buildings. This is insane. Now, if you're gonna put yard art up, I'm telling you, this is what you want to put up. A lot of this stuff is from the wall. A lot of these, the artwork over here, that is from the album cover, Wish You Were Here, which he's got, he or she or the family, have it posted right above on the board right there. This is insane, then the hammers, the classic hammers of Pink Floyd. This is crazy. This is crazy. Who's that, what's that? Good? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Dark side of the moon. I was wondering where that went. Okay. And this is the thing, too. Basically, he sets this up between, he puts it up Memorial Day and takes it down after Labor Day. And at night, I guess he lights it up from what I read on the website. He lights this up, so it would be really cool. Oh, yeah, you can see. Cord there. Lights there when it lights up at night for the sculptures. The division bell cover here. This is the best yard art I've ever seen in my life. I don't know whoever lives here, if you're ever watching this. Awesome. Mother, do you think to drop the bomb? Yes. I know I was on my way to work and I thought to myself, I got 40 minutes to spare. And another half to get to work. I'm like, I gotta take a detour and go see if the Pink Floyd lawn art is real. It was rumored to me that it was real. I'm like, I gotta go see if this is real. It's real. If you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Just a warning, the street is really, really busy. And you know, technically, you're in Canadota Lake. The address is Union City, but technically you're in Canadota Lake because, well, I've never seen so many arcades in one area in my life. There's an arcade there, and then there's one down the street, right after that brown house right there. And well, you're at Happy Jack's right now. You know, I have a weakness, right? I have a weakness for large lawn chairs. And well, they got one. I don't know what it is, but when I see large lawn chairs, I wanna have one in my house one day. Just cause, because well, yeah. I'm weird. That's crazy. In the vicinity of that area, there are four ice cream places you could eat at. You could walk to all four of them. And it's insane. Yeah, and two arcades. I gotta come back here this summer, that's for sure. Dollar General in the field. Who would have thought? The more you know. Yes! <laughs> it's hot and I love it. You gotta understand, one ear growing up, I had my mom playing old country music. The other ear, my dad was playing 50s and 60s. And the great Neil Diamond. Yes. And you know, I grew up on that stuff, but I was also loved the 80s music. And I was a 90s grunge kid. Yes, I was. But there was a certain point in time where I quit listening to music. 2006, 2005, I kind of faded out. So if you ask me about any new artist today, I couldn't tell you any new artist at all. And frankly, I, I'm sure there's a lot of good rock bands out there that come along after I kind of quit listening to music. But a lot of the stuff I hear today, I... I <laughs> I just I can't get it past the nose. It's just, and that's just me because I'm old fashioned and I like a good rock tune. So, hey, whatever flavor your flavor is, that's cool with me. But 
I just don't get into new music. That's all I'm saying. Nothing, no, no offense. But yeah, a lot of stuff today, uh, passing by, I wouldn't buy the album or listen to it. Just saying. You know, you can only write a song, you can only write so many songs after breaking up with the dude. And it's every song on the album. After a while, you would think somebody would need to go to therapy after writing all that music. And I'm not specifically talking about the certain person. Or maybe I am. Okay, I'm over it. Well, look, look at this shady character coming to the big city. <laughs> we do live behind an oak tree or something. Uh, are you, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> hey, you never know what happens, right? Sean was in town, like, what are you doing in town? He says, I'm going to Tynesta to do a video. I go, well, I'm getting in your car. The lighthouse, not on an island. I do make it clear, I'm just tagging along today with Sean because he's doing his video right now. So, if you want a full tour of this place, go check back in the old archives here. It's somewhere down in this channel. The family was here and we did a whole tour of it. Not in the lighthouse, but we walked around the whole thing. Mother, do you think they'll drop the bomb? Yeah, you got it, baby. Mother, do you think they'll drop the bomb? <laughs> I just got off the phone with Sean. He was doing Dynasty. He was doing a video. That's where Sean grew up at. That's his old stomping grounds. And I just tagged along. I didn't film. He did Sherman Memorial Park. And he was going around showing where he used to hang out and all that good stuff. Well, he gets home. He realized he recorded an all time lapse videos. This is what Sean looked like. His anger after he found out he did all time lapse. I feel his pain because you know what? I've done that. I've went places two, three hours away, four hours away and did them and got home and it was all pictured. I had it on picture mode, so I didn't do a video. I took a bunch of pictures. So, uh, I feel your pain, buddy. I feel your pain. But I gotta tell you, go downstairs, check out my merchandise store with all my t-shirts, my hats, all my goodies down there. And thank you again for everybody who watches me, who buys stuff from me every month. And coffee cups, you're getting a run in. My number one seller is coffee cups. But my shirts are climbing. So, hey, whenever you buy something from me, I'm happy either way. But I appreciate all the business I get, people buying off there. And how crazy of it, lawn art like that can be right in the neck of your woods and not even know it. I heard rumors about the Pink Floyd house. I'm looking, well, yeah, that would be cool if somebody actually had that. It's real, people. The Pink Floyd house is real. But again, I must thank everybody for the kind words last week. This video you watched this week was supposed to be on last week, but you all know what happened. It was not a normal content of mine I'd put out, but I will say again, the kind words that everybody said and the card in the mail holy moly um you people are beautiful um i just i get overwhelmed sometimes doing videos but when i put a video out and i get all these nice all the good feedback and then when something happens and i put it on film and i show you guys every week and then the response I get is just like, wow. Um, anybody who watches me, who's tuned into my little life, who tunes into my little adventures, who sends kind words, you mean the world to me. And I mean that in the most serious way. I don't joke about stuff like that. I'm just a local idiot that does things that I think is interesting. And then when something happens and I put it on film and the feedback I get, I tell you. There 
are good people in this world, and they all watch my channel. <laughs> I, I, I just, I just, I, I'm convinced of that. I, I really, really am. But those were the days. Those were the days, my friend. When I went to the Pink Floyd house, insane. But I someday I will have a themed house of something that is cool is the Pink Floyd house. Now I'd probably have an all season. Then people just do it seasonally. But still, those were the days where I visited the Pink Floyd themed house in Canadota Lake, Union City area. Um, I said the address in the video so you could show that guy some love if you're in the area. If you're a big Pink Floyd fan like me, top three bands in the world, okay. It goes Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, and The Doors. That's my top three. After that, they all get, they're all over the place. But those three, boom. Hopefully the people didn't mind me walking on their lawn. It didn't say no trespassing, you know what I mean? But I had to. I, I, I had to. There was no signs. Nobody yelled at me. I'm just saying. Okay. But I'll see you guys next Monday. At six o'clock with it's I'm working on a story I probably won't do it next I shouldn't even say nothing I got a, a no I'm my internet got a spoiler I'm not even gonna do it I'll see you next Monday at six thank you love you guys hey when you go see the Pink Floyd lawn art display you got to put the Pink Floyd CD in right right yeah. I'll do anything that I feel like I wanna do I'm